Okay, let me start from the beginning. So, in order to beat Laura, it starts in the neutral. If you don't win neutral, then you're not going to beat her, or you're going to have a very low chance of doing so. So, essentially, if her Oki gets started, um, there's holes in it, and everything is reactable. But the key that kind of messes people up is the fact that she has so many options. And the fact that, like, everything may be reactable, but if you're not looking for it, you can't react to it. Uh, you ah, react to it, if that makes any sense. It's, um, it's like when you're looking for an overhead, right? You can't be looking for overhead, uh, low, high, uh, you know, grab, command grab, all these things all at the same time. So that's kind of what makes her open people up. But a lot of the things that she does is fake. And the key to kind of beating her once she starts her uh, her Oki is finding the fake stuff. So we'll start with neutral though. So main buttons, crouch fierce, crouch medium kick, and stand light kick is what she's going to be uh, doing in neutral. And most notably, Laura's get away with murder with this button. This button, oh, fuck that button, look how long it takes before I can push a button again. It's very light. This thing, like, super easy with punish. Like, well, not with that, but... yeah. Is yeah, it's on reaction every can, time if you're in range. I can almost do it like yeah. six years. Because I'm, I'm usually, I, I would say do like either crouch medium kick or crouch medium punch. De well, depending on your character, things are kind of stubby, but that is very whiff punishable. Like especially with sweep, um, I think sweep is what people tend to do just because a priority system. You might accidentally trade things like that because this button is active for like a really long time, and I have a lot of time to hit confirm. So. That's going to be what you're using to fish uh, in neutral. And uh, the second thing is if you're not Guile, don't throw fireballs from about two-thirds screen, right about here. This, or not not normal, but why? Oh, I don't have bar. <laughs> uh, but you, you get what I mean. Uh, yeah, about two-thirds right screen, through. EX shoulder. Uh, she can react to any fireball in the game that's not in EX or G level two. OP bastard, but <laughs> um, yeah, he, he can react. Uh, she can react to any fireball that's not Guile with the EX fireball. So if I have one bar, don't be throwing fireballs. Um, and also, the other thing to look out for in neutral is the fireball. So sh if she's not hitting you with a button and she's not trying to get past your zone in game with like her uh, EX elbow, she's going to be trying to do one of these to kind of walk in with it, right? This is very unsafe, though. This kind of gives her space, because notice when I throw it out at right about here, and I kind of walk behind it, all of a sudden, I'm in the, the whiff punish, like, uh, contest your buttons kind of range, right? So, but some some Lauras will honestly test your reactions in that department, and they'll throw it from right about here. And what ends up happening is, if you push a button too late, so react to this, or, or try to, at least, right? Right? So that is the answer right there. And you can hit it with a low button, right? But if you're not looking for it and you react too late, so uh, do, do it a little bit later. Or right about here. Too slow. <laughs> it, essentially, what, what people are going <laughs> to... Kind of hard to show without being in the heat of the match, but essentially, they're going to be trying to throw a fireball at close, and then you're going to hit a button, and it's going to smack you, and then you're going to eat a hit confirmed from Crouch Fierce or Crouch Medium Kick. Yeah. Um, so those are the three things. Buttons, uh, the fireball, and also the EX shoulder to get past zoning. The So three things in neutral. Uh, she's going to jump, she's going to dash, or she's going to hit a button. She's got to do one of those three things. The more prominent one, so besides jumping, right, because you have to jump against zoners, and that's just dependent on, uh, you know, what kind of reads that you have. Uh, her buttons suck. Right, she's gonna be losing this most of the time. So what her actually good option is is her dash. And the reason this is good is not only because she has good hit confirms, but also because she has this uh, like pseudo pressure if she gets a dash in. So if she does a dash in, crouch fierce ex fireball. That's not real, but you get scared, right? Because you see the ex fireball and watch what happens. So block real quick. I'm plus, right? Or if I do it out of range, just stay there real quick. If I do it out of range, or right about here after the dash in. Sorry, not that. Oh, I don't have bar. Damn, we need a way to get bar here. <laughs> Online training mode. Um, so, yeah, let me get bar. 
Okay, so if I do the dash in, right, I do... This isn't real, right? Because you can interrupt my dash, but also there's a gap. If I do it from max range, see how the fireball kind of crawls, right? There's a gap there. That's not a true, a true block string. One thing to note, if fireball is blocked at point blank range, it's a negative five, right? And you should be punishing with jab, crouch, medium, whatever. But when it's spaced out like that, that's what gives her the free dash in, free plus frames that she shouldn't be getting. And so, to be honest, when she does dash in button, and especially when she doesn't have meter, so block real quick. Block real quick. See this? I got a free dash in a lot with, with so much plus frames that my uh, my grab whiffed, right? So you got to know the fake things, but dashing in is one of her things that she kind of has to do every once in a while. So that's essentially what her neutral boils down to: jumping, dashing in, doing stuff, and whiffing for buttons. She's not going to do anything more complicated than that, right? Now on to the actually complicated stuff, which is her Oki. First thing everyone should know, this is zero on block. And while that sounds like, oh, then I should hit a button, right? If, no, you should not. Especially if you're like G, for example, who has a four framer. Because I can just hit this twice, right? And, uh, uh, well, if you block one, right? Oh, sorry. And then I, and I hit it again. You know, you're going to get counter hit after you block the first one. Some people, yeah, like so. So if you are a three frame character, obviously always hit a button. But also take note of the times that she's going to hit it. So if she gets a jump in, obviously she might hit it. So the, the two di there's a difference between two buttons. There's stand light punch and stand light kick. Stand light punch will leave you within normal grab, uh, grab range. But stand light kick, or let me get a jump in, is in range on hit, but not on block. Right? So, oh, sorry. <laughs> Ugh, I'm bad, but you, you, you get the point. So if I do, for example, hold on. Thanks, online training mode. Would love to have yeah. you here. If I do this, it pushes me further away, right? If I do this point blank, I'm in range, right? If I do this point blank, I'm not in range anymore, right? That's how it works. So essentially what lawyers are going to want to do is hit this more often than not. So they can do less of a risk if they, if they do this right and get the normal grab versus this and they have to do command grab if they want to be in range right so that's that's kind of the okie right about there but anyway the the point is you want to challenge it and the two spots that it's commonly used is when i land medium elbow like this so uh don't hit a button real quick notice the positioning when i dash up right here or don't, don't uh, move forward or back at all just real quick so I can uh, note the difference. When I hit light elbow um, and I do the, the forward ender where I stay in front, I'm at a range where, first of all, I'm plus one after the dash. So I ha if I'm up against the three frame character, then I have to hit my three framer if I want to beat them clean and not get the trade. So that's the first point. The second point is that if I hit a uh, stand light punch, right? I'm still in command grab range, okay? If I hit stand light kick, I believe on block. So, or don't don't move, like hold uh, down back. Gosh. And then I'm going to do stand light kick. Or I walk forward a little bit, but <laughs> hold on. Let me try that again. I'm out of range. You see that? Mm -hmm. So, Laura's want to hit the stand light punch after that, right? But if you're a three frame character and you know that they want to do that, that's the time that you want to be challenging at it, uh, where it's at. The other time is when you do forward heavy punch into the uh, the heavy punch uh, elbow ender. I believe it's zero, if I'm not mistaken. And that's another time that you need to hit stand light punch. And so obviously if you're a four, uh, four framer, again, don't challenge. But for a three framer, there is no reason not to challenge and you're going to get a trade. Uh, the last scenario that they want to hit stand light punch is the command grab. So after this, if you quick get up uh, and you do the light elbow meaty, it will be actually minus one instead of uh, being minus two. So if you hit your four framer and I hit my three framer, let's try it right now, right? 
Well, block first. Yeah. Like... <laughs> block first. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> See how it trades right there? Mm. So that's actually minus one, right? I'm going to hit it every time because I know you have a four framer. But this is key when you have a three frame character because normally I would hit the button, but now it's actually your turn as a three frame character because you're going to hit your button, right? And then that kind of makes up starts. The uh, last opportunity um, that it's used is the, uh, the back ender. So the back ender notably, you see how I'm like literally point blank uh, when I do it. This is a situation where whether I hit stand light kick or stand light punch, I will still be in range for a normal grab. This is like literally point blank. If you notice, here I'll compare the two the the two distances. Don't do anything. See, I'm like literally inside you versus on the same side. I'm a little bit. Well, you walked back. Let me one more time. <laughs> I'm a little bit further. You see that, right? So, however, the frame the frame advantage is different. So, what, the forward ender, I'm plus one. But the back ender, I'm actually zero. So again, if you're a three frame character, hit the button every time. But if you're a from, uh, four frame character, it's a lot scarier because I can hit stand light kick if I'm point blank range and still be in range for the normal grab. So those are the all the scenarios that you have to think about. Other button, the infamous stand medium kick that got nerfed, is still really good. And it kind of needs to be understood how and where it's used. Besides uh, the neutral, which I forgot to mention actually, where you kind of fish for a uh, counter hit. So if I hit it normally, I, I can only get stand light kick. Counter hit, obviously I get the, the, the crouch medium kick into the elbow ender. Um, but notably, something a lot of people might not know is that it has four active frames. So this button can actually become plus two on block. In certain scenarios, if you time it, uh, the, the active frames in certain meaty situations. And one of those situations, that Laura players like to use is back throw. So uh, again, back throw. See how we trade there? See how I made it actually uh, minus one instead of minus two? It's scenarios like that. So more often, now that you know this, you hit a light button, but what ends up actually happening in a match when people don't know this is they try to challenge with a medium button because I'm hitting it from so far away, right? They're like, oh, my light won't reach or whatever, right? And so what ends up happening is they try to challenge with a medium and I do my crouch medium punch and it tends to win. But obviously that's not real. Don't deal with that. The, the, uh, the scenario where it's actually real is when I do a uh, forward throw and I do the, the micro walk. Uh, so same situation, I'm going to throw you and block my stand medium kick and I'm going to challenge after, okay? One more time, sorry. Oh, too far, one more. Oh, one more time. <laughs> Weird. One more. She's too good. The hitbox is too big. Oops. Well, you hit it too, <laughs> too early. <laughs> well, if you mess up and you hit a button, that's what's going to happen to you. But <laughs> yeah. Don't interrupt there. Uh, yeah, so essentially, those are the two scenarios where you kind of land it uh, on the later frames. And uh, depending on how good your manual timing is, as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm kind of terrible at it. But if you do the manual timing well enough in uh, in these kinds of scenarios. Same thing actually with uh, with medium. So if I do this, it hits on the EC. How it comboed, and it wasn't even counter hit. It's normally only plus two on hit. So that means I hit uh, I hit it on the third active frame, making it plus five and letting me combo in my crotch medium punch. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what ends up happening is. So normally people do the dash up OP, right? And they do this, but what you can all what you can do against uh, the the three frame characters, like I mentioned before, they can always challenge in this situation because it's zero. I'll switch to this mix up, right? And if they hit a button, they'll get hit. And then once they're conditioned for that part, I can do micro walk uh, the uh, the command grab, right? To make it look like oh I'm walking up stand medium kick, right? And I actually just hi what's up, right? Or, or I can even do EX command grab if I condition them enough and I think they're going to react to the, the small walk-up. Um, so there's that, right? Stand medium kick can be hit on the later active frames in certain situations, and you have to kind of think about that. 
uh, I noted the fake fireball pressure, right? Whether it's far from here or even up close. So for example, if I do that, that's not real, right? There's actually a gap or block this. And then I'm going to cancel the light punch into fireball. And after I cancel the fireball, just hit crouch like it. Okay. So see how that can be interrupted. But if you're not interrupting, you see how that kind of makes me plus because uh, notably, you see how that uh, there's there's this different kind of hit stop to it when it's blocked and you'll know it's negative five. But when it's spaced out like that, that's when it becomes plus, right? So that this, these are the times where I get away with me. another popular setup that I like to do is stand medium kick, uh, stand medium punch and a crouch medium kick. And you see how that gives me a little walk up. Or I could do, or well, don't hit anything real quick. Just keep blocking. This opens a, a huge amount of uh, mix-up potential, right? But this is obviously not real. And the moment, though, you, you have to react to this, though. You have to react to my crouch medium kick because if I note that you're always hitting buttons after stand medium punch or you're looking for this cancel window right here, then I'm going to start canceling from crouch medium punch into fireball, and then that's when the real thing happens, right? So it's about transitioning from the fake to the real stuff. That's what Laura players are thinking about. And you kind of have to take it, not really a guess, it's reactable, like one of the more reactable ones. This is also another fake one, same scenario. See how if you don't react to it fast enough and I'm holding down back this whole time, right? If you hit a button too late, you're gonna get hit and then I'm gonna confirm into Crouch Fears. Um, so know when to hit buttons in those scenarios. One of the popular ones is the one I showed. Uh, another thing to note, when I hit crouch light kick, or when I, so when I land elbow like this, and I do crouch light kick, or so let me hit elbow and then black and then block afterwards, okay? Well, down back, not like, yeah. Like that, right? Well, hold, hold that positioning. So I'm gonna hit you with elbow, down back, and then note this positioning. See this right here? Well, don't don't hit anything. I, I just wanted to note something. So, see this? My buttons don't reach here. My buttons don't work at all, right? I would have to do something really slow, like stand fierce or sweep or stand heavy kick or like some kind of cancel. I would I would just have to commit to the elbow, right? So it is actually safe to challenge after these two are blocked. Okay? There's no reason not to challenge in that situation when you block elbow. When it, so when well when you get hit with elbow and then you see me doing the two lights, um, there is no reason not to hit a button after those two. So I'm gonna try for example. I'm gonna do that same exact scenario. I'm gonna hit you with elbow and then you're gonna block the two lights and then you're gonna just hit crouch light kick after those two lights. Okay. So it can't do anything. Yeah, it can't do anything. The only thing I'd have to do, I'd have to commit to a big button. What you can try doing is doing actually a walk back to completely escape the pressure if I try anything. You gotta um, die. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, am I running out of time? Hold on. Just no. Oh, no, no. Not enough damage. Okay. So enough about fake fireball stuff. That's just because the thing what is every lore. Players, every Laura player is different. Everyone does the fake fireball stuff differently. Um, the next thing I want to go into is fireball okey so you know how to deal with the fireball pressure now and not getting hit by it hopefully uh the second thing is what happens when you get hit with the fireball so the ex notably so don't block real quick when i hit this or oh i don't have meter Just i don't have it. meter build meter uh, 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 uh. okay I so when i hit that. with ex fireball if i do fierce I'll be real, I have no idea which which side I'm gonna end up on, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being real here. I have no idea which side I'm gonna end up on. Uh, kill me real quick, uh, stuff, Oops. or it doesn't matter. Uh, so the only time that you know where it's gonna end up is stand medium kick. Stand medium kick, if you do it after EX Fireball, you will always be on the other side. There's no reason it won't because it has this uh, large amount of forward movement tied in with the move and it always puts you on the other side. There is no possible scenario where it won't be on the other side. This also includes uh, the corner. 
it is the only setup where she can cross up in the corner. So for example, over here, if I do this, notice I'm still on the front, right? But if I do stand light kick, I'm on the other side. That is the only time that I can land on the other side. Otherwise, there is no not to hold uh, back, down, back, or like you you guess those kind of things, right? So that is the fireball OP. Uh, it differs when um, you have V-Trigger active, but I'll get into that later. The other thing to talk about is the overhead. This thing is negative seven, as most people know, but it can also be made meaty. One of these situations is this right here. Well, don't block it, but. <laughs> and then I can combo after it. The other time is when I, uh, well, I can take this round. Hold on. Uh, is this scenario right here? Well, let's see. <laughs> Let me get you to the corner. Okay, so when I do this, that's super meaty. And I can actually get Sorry. crouch medium. Well, I, I can combo crouch medium, which is the point. Uh, notably, though, this thing is minus three in that scenario. So if you're not a three-frame character, uh, you're not going to punish it. But uh, notably, it's I would fun. say the safest bet, because most Loras won't challenge after that, is just back throw them into the corner. If you're ready for that and you have a three frame, punish it. But if not, just go for a back throw because they're not really thinking about that kind of thing. The So the other scenario was after the V skill and the, lot, the last scenario that it can be done, which is kind of arguable because you have to have manual timing. So not a lot of people do this. So let me see if I could try it. Uh, hold on. Or actually kill me, kill me. You have low health. Okay. Last scenario is off of uh, outside of V-Trigger, just normal EX Fireball. If you do a little micro walk, stand medium kick, and time the cancel correctly, you can make it meaty. Let me see if I can do it. Oh, one more time. One more. One last time. Let me wait for the sun. Oh, build meter. Yeah, yeah. Or... Okay, one more time. Okay, uh, I'm not going to get it today. It's kind of hard. But the, the point is you hit it late timing and, and it's meaty. But essentially, the the big... Yeah, kill me kill me real quick. Or actually, wait, let me win the round. You have two rounds. <laughs> there we go. Okay. My combos, though. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the other scenario, I need V-Trigger for it, so I'm not going to go through it, is when I'm in V-Trigger... Um, and I land EX Fireball and I dash forward Crouch Medium Punch. That also sets up the same scenario in the corner where I ended with the Medium Elbow and made it minus three on block, but like super meaty on hit. Um, so that's those are all the scenarios you can make it meaty. Most of the time though, um, I don't think most Loras throw this out raw, to be honest, unless it's like space. The last thing is... What do I have left? What did I write down? Oh, so forward and back throw. Let me go over the O key for these two real quick. Forward throw, I get literally nothing. Backdash this every time. I'm going to do this right now. See, I get nothing, right? Uh, one more time. Or I get light elbow, but that doesn't do anything, right? Light, light elbow is like negative. At that range, it doesn't do anything. Um, you, you, and essentially what I'm trying to say, there is no reason to add a minimum, just hold back like this, right? Because I can't dash forward, crouch, medium kick, right? I can't dash forward button, right? I'm negative two after a dash. I can't do anything like that. So there's no reason to hold uh, back at the initial part where I'm dashing and then hold down back afterwards. So uh, you do the forward throw and then you do a small walk back and then immediately down back after you see that my dash finishes. That way I have no Oki afterwards. Okay, so that's essentially how you deal with that. There's no reason I should be getting any pressure off that situation.
uh, people let me get away with murder. Uh, the last thing is back throw and then just super jank mix-ups that not a lot of people know. So like I said before, the command grab, when I land it, I get meaty light elbow, right? And we went over the whole three frame button situation, you shouldn't challenge and things like that, right? But the other thing to note is that her, she, she gets no dash, right? I can get stand heavy kick, I can get the light elbow, but I can't get the dash. And this dash is reactable. And while it is reactable, there's there's other scenarios that you can that that she's gonna try to get away with murder. So what they like to do is after command grab, there's sweep, there's overhead, there's a micro walk forward into a cross up. So if they catch or if you don't delay get up, that's their favorite. Like there's no reason to delay get up ever, right? I get the command grab. Do a little micro walk into the cross up, right? If you're not ready for it, uh, kill me real quick, just so we have. Uh... Actually, let me.